Hi, my name is Alex with HTEC Tech, Tech Tutorials, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to share an existing filter, create a dashboard, and share your dashboard as well. If you haven't already, please make sure you smash subscribe, drop a like on this video, and if you have any questions about anything that I talk about today, make sure you leave me a comment in the comment section below. Let's jump into Jira. All right, so here we are in Jira. I am inside of an existing filter. It's a very simple filter. It's called high priority issues. And all it's doing is finding every issue that is of the highest priority. I've already saved it. But by default, whenever you save a filter or a search, which basically creates the filter, Jira is going to save it in, as a private filter, which basically means it's for your eyes only. And so what you're going to want to do to essentially share your filter and you're going to have a few options, which I'm going to talk about in a second. But sharing the filter is important, especially when you're talking about using that filter in a dashboard. Because while the dashboard is going to allow you to pull in private filters, when you share the dashboard to your team, if the filter that is driving that dashboard is private, like they are by default, then your team will not be able to see the data behind that dashboard. So to solve this problem, I'm going to show you how to share the filter and the dashboard. So now that we have this created filter here, in order to share it, all you gotta do is click on details and you'll notice that under permissions here, the filter is visible to you and the filter is only editable by you. This last part here is a fairly new feature, which I think is kind of cool because now you can let other people edit your filters, which in the past that was impossible. But to share the filter, you're gonna wanna click on edit permissions and now you're going to be presented with a couple of options. Under viewers, you can either share it with the project, which basically means anybody who has access to a specific project, preferably the one that you did in your search, they'll be able to access this one. B, you can leverage the groups that your Elastian admin has created and you can just share it with them. So if you know your group, that's a powerful way to just share with a specific group of people. Or C, the, which is not my favorite, but this basically opens it up to your instance. So this will take that URL at the top and it's going to share this filter. Pretty much anybody that's logged into your Jira instance will be able to see the filter. So again, depending on what level of privacy you're interested in, you might want to pick one or the other. I typically go with project. And so in this case, I'm going to go with project. I'll pick my project. And most importantly, this is very, very important. Please do not skip the step. You want to click on add. If you don't do that, and you go straight to save, it won't actually do anything. You have to, once you make your selection, click add. You'll notice that it adds it down here and it has an X so you can remove it if you want to. But once you see this, then you know, and you're guaranteed when you click save that this filter is indeed shared. So now you just want to click save. And now if you come back to details, you'll see that this filter is visible to the project and then whatever project you specified. So now that you have that done, we're going to go over to the dashboards and I'm going to show you how to, it's kind of like a two for one special. You're going to, I'm going to show you how to create the dashboard, but upon creation, you're also prompted to do your share privileges. So you can come to dashboards. You can click and create a dashboard. You'll give it a name. And then down here, very similar interface. You're going to just go to projects, pick your project, make sure you click on add. And then once you hit save, it'll actually share it. Now, what I want to show you is just in case that you forgot to uh, share your project, let me show you what it looks like if you would have just left the defaults and you made a private dashboard. So if you do that, you're going to come over to view all dashboards. You'll be able to see your private dashboard. You see that the viewers is private. You want to go into it. And then on the right hand side, there's an ellipsis. You will want to click on that ellipsis and there's a rename and share button. If you click on that, this will bring you right back to this pop up that then allows you to share it with your team. And so once you do that, you can hit save. And now anybody that's in that project or whatever criteria you selected is going to be able to sell or view either the filter or the dashboard. And that's pretty much it for this one. I hope you liked it. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. And if you found any value in it, let me know. Uh, drop a like. Let me know in the comment section if you have any questions about anything else. I'd be more than happy to help you out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.